cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A company called All Florida Safety Institute bills itself as Florida's largest driving school. In addition to providing private driving lessons, they have a contract to conduct driver's license testing for the state of Florida. But a growing number of customers say instructors stop showing up for lessons and the employees claiming that they're not getting paid. Many reached out to Better Call Bank for answers and tonight Shannon is getting some. Hi Shannon. Hi, Jen, Josh. This Tampa office has now closed and customers say that their phone messages aren't being returned. Well, I was able to track down the chief financial officer and ask him what's going on. We never received any advance notice that they were having problems. They just disappeared into the night. Sam Massaro and his wife thought All Florida Safety Institute was the perfect place to teach their 16-year-old grandson how to drive. Indicated they had driving simulators and they had drivers that would even come to the house and pick you up, take you around, give you continuous uh, driving instruction week by week to help him overcome his fear of driving. They paid around $1,000 and say the first few lessons went great. Then. The instructors were no-shows, the Tampa location closed, and their calls weren't returned. I feel like my grandson was let down. He's very excited about driving, and this school gave him hopes that he'd be able to, you know, venture forward and gain some confidence in his driving abilities. And to sit here and watch him looking out the window waiting for them to stop by to pick him up, I'm disappointed. Sam signed up on August 2nd. I found that it was three weeks later that the school, which has 18 locations throughout the state, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization. Complaints from customers and employees who say they haven't been paid are piling up in the Better Call Banking inbox. So I went looking for answers at locations in three counties. No luck, but I finally found a cell phone number for Paul Trippy, the company's chief financial officer. He explained the company's troubles started when it lost money during COVID, and he hopes the bankruptcy restructuring will save the school. The CFO tells me that the company is waiting on a $900,000 tax credit, and he assured me that it plans to make good on the promises eventually on all the lessons already sold, and he told me that the company will pay employees who have missing paychecks. Of course, we all know how long and complicated a bankruptcy restructuring case can be, so the employees are understandably worried. Now, Mr. Trippy, he gave me his email address at work, and he says that customers can contact him directly, and I will post that email address in my story on WFLA.com so you can reach him if you need to. Yeah, you feel bad for both sides. A lot of companies are struggling with that cash issue. Right. And the grandson here just wants his license eventually, yeah. so you feel bad for him. But now there's a state contract you talked about. So are state officials getting involved in this? Yes, and that is with the state of Florida. So I reached out to them in the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. They have granted this company a contract to conduct driver's license testing back in 2016. This year, that contract was renewed for a three-year term. State officials tell me that they are now looking into these recent consumer complaints. They say that they have received some of these complaints over the past few months, and so far they've been able to resolve all of them. So again, that's another avenue if you are in this boat, if you're a consumer having an issue, reach out to the state as well. Okay. And also reach out to me because I'm keeping tabs on this. Keep your inbox full, right? That's right. All right, thanks so much, <laughs> Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. There's the number on your screen. It's 1-855-BANKIN, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.